Welcome, Soul Family. This is a collective daily read. This is for the 6th of December, 2021. I already have it laid out. Uh, just to move things along. And um, this is just a four-card read. Up here, I have the bottom of the deck. That would be the Four of Pentacles. It looked very comfortable lying there. Um, holding on to our energies, even bodily. This may be still needing rest, still needing to recover. Look, we're still in a transformation. So it's kind of some process of death, you know. We don't really exactly know what the pupae feels, the metamorphosis, you know. Uh, as it's metamorphing uh, from a caterpillar to that moth or butterfly. But that's where we are. We want to be uh, moving on. We want to be look out looking. It's not just uh, looking for the ships to come in. Wands are actions. Threes is dynamic action. Third house. A lot of movement. Out looking around. This is looking around at least in the local neighborhood. That's getting out there energy. That's where we want to be. But we can't because we're holding on to our energy. What we need to understand is we're still going through this transformation. I say we include myself in this, guys. Yeah, and here the sun. Now this is, you know, and death here is in the position, by the way, of what's blocking us. So that's what I say. It's a, we're, uh, I don't think it's anything. I think we're just going with it here. I think it's probably good. I know this is true for me. Um, this is not the time to go off. I'm a fire sign, but it's, uh, you got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them. Um, and this might be the time where you pull them, you let things go, you're healing up, you're taking your time. The rocket ship is being repaired, I told someone. <laughs> yes, and refueled and repaired, right, and upgraded. And you will have your day, you will be flying into the sun, because this now is the advice from Spirit card, the sun. The best card in the tarot deck coming is as advice from Spirit. Whenever I see advice from Spirit, I am so much reassured, because this really... To me, this is the most important card in um, this reading, this position anyway. And to get the sun here, I mean, it's as if spirit really, I mean, maybe your spirits. I know we all have ancestral spirits around us. I know I do, my grandmother. I know there's guides, you know. I know they're very uh, close now, film right now. Um, and I think that's true of everyone here. And here they are. This is temperance, Sagittarius energy. You could say this is Leo energy. Here's your Sagittarius energy and also the angel. They are balanced, patient because everything's okay. And this is the this is the future, guys, the future position here. I mean, if you're in temperance energy, everything's great. Nothing bugs you. You're going along. This is a very high base, high vibration of Sagittarius. Easy. The easy going Sagittarius. Things are flowing. You don't worry too much about the details. You know, yeah, well. The coffee burnt this morning and the toaster's out and one of these days I'm going to have to do this thing in the backyard and you're just living life and it's good. And I think when you, when you get the sun here is reassurance, you know, we're still in this death energy. It might be a little hard right now. What I was thinking before this reading started, for those of you old enough to remember, I'm sorry to bring this up, it was a mem before there was really laptops. Uh, where's the beef? Where's the beef? The little woman. It was like a commercial for fast food, you know. When they feed they feed us the poisoned food and the death food, someone called it. And, um, you know, and she was uh, trying to say that one of the others didn't have enough beef on their burger. And she said, where's the beef? But it became this uh, mantra for the time. Um, people felt like they didn't have enough. There, Where was the substance? The substance. And uh, I feel that a little bit here. Uh, where is the substance? Um... Uh, frankly, like, where is the manifestation? Um, I'm sorry I don't have the exact date, but this month, the end of the month, uh, we're, we're going to see in 2022, uh, we're going to see the, the long two and a half year uh, track of uh, the nodes going through Taurus and Pisces and Taurus and uh, Scorpio, okay? And um, it's going to be so different. It just makes so much sense. It's like right now, it's like we're in that death energy right now. We're having trouble with it. The advice is like, look, the sun's going to be there any minute, drying out your wings, your butterfly wings, you know, and um, and then it, you're protected. And I think like this too implies to me, we're going to move into this. And I was sad, so that's meaning there. But I think for everyone, being temperance, we're going to move into an energy 
um, where we're just not a very easily triggered. So if you were triggered before, I think that shit is going to be over. Like stuff that probably would trigger the fuck out of you a few years ago. It's going to be like water off a duck, man. You know? And you just need a little more time. This is on the bottom of the deck, you know? And, and take care of yourself and all that good stuff. All the good stuff of whatever self-care is. And the more literal, the better. All right. Thank you, guys. I hope that's helpful. Share. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. Do subscribe if you haven't. Hit the bell. Thank you.